The collapse of regional banks is nothing new. Between 1980 and 1994, more than 1,600 banks failed. During this time period, regional banks in the Southwest revolved around oil and real estate. Due to an energy crisis in the US, oil prices reached record heights, hitting $146 per barrel. For oil companies, it was a great time to drill more wells and expand production. So these regional banks in the area provided funding for companies while offering mortgages for the local community. However, oil prices eventually plummeted due to oversupply. As a result, oil companies could no longer pay back their loans for these projects, and commercial properties soon became vacant. The contagion from these banks would spread since they sold energy loans to other larger financial institutions like Continental Illinois, who purchased $1 billion worth of this bad debt. Once banks in the Southwest began to crumble, depositors panicked to withdraw their money from Continental Illinois, leading to a bank failure. Before Washington Mutual collapsed in 2008, this was the largest bank failure in U.S. history and is still number four on the list today.